What's well, Miles Black Femme and TV? Hello, folks. How are you? Hey, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> Looks like everybody's going on some personal journey for season five, you know, but no more than you guys. <laughs> you know, so like now, obviously, for those who are either fans uh, of the show or newcomers, if they're catching up, is this all part of the books or is this something new that they're exploring? So, um, people say that Nemesis Games is like one of the best books in the series and it definitely is based on it for sure. We, we haven't departed from that. Um, so yeah, we fully kind of go into Naomi's past and all these kind of seeds and little, um, you know, nuances that we've been, have been under the surface and hidden and kind of secretive as we've known her or got to know her from season one fully come to the forefront um, in this season and we get to see them play out with the people that I think have hurt her the most and also um, continue to have the power to do that. Um, so it makes for a very juicy and engaging season five in Naomi's part of the world. Mm -hmm. How would you best describe your role, Keon? It seems like both of you are going through an emotional roller coaster as far as who's right, who's wrong, do I change, do I stay as I am? <laughs> Well, um, Marco has a lot of plans. He's got a lot of strategy, but the one thing he did not account for was the ex uh, mother of his child and love of his life show up at the peak of his, the, the um, fruition of his plans. It is not a good moment. It's not what he wants to be happening. And we definitely watch him try to juggle a whole bunch of flaming balls while trying to raise his son and uh, not be re-seduced by his ex, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot going on. It gets a little messy. Is there any goodness in Marco? You know, is he all one note? It's like just an evildoer. <laughs> Mar Marco really uh -huh. believes that uh, it is possible to bring justice to the world, that um, it's not uh, it's not impossible for race, uh, race, racial injustice to be a thing of the past or poverty to be a thing of the past. He believes that belters, the underclass can be uh, treated with fairness. And uh, those, those are really optimistic things. Uh, I, I see the part of him that is very heroic in many ways. Um, the fact that he's willing to take certain measures may be questionable to some of us, but I think uh, historically speaking, there's been a lot of sacrifice that's had to be made to, to achieve freedom in this world. And Marco realizes that. And for you, uh, Dominique, is, is this a, a journey that makes her stronger in the end? You know, obviously, you know, does she, uh, uh, tie her loose ends in terms of the family roller coaster that she's been dealing with for the past seasons. You know, do we see her come out of this a stronger person? I mean, you'll have to watch see that um, what the kind of conclusion of her journey is. But I definitely think we get to really witness her in like what makes her such a survivor. What what makes her such a, a I hate the term strong woman, but I think there is such a display of weakness in a way um, of what she has. She's so vulnerable and so weak in this season in many ways to see her kind of fight for herself through that is really quite, um, it's quite a lot to watch, but I think it's really important that we see what makes her who she is. And so I think in kind of witnessing this breaking down of her being back around Marco and her son that she has been absent from, to then watching her kind of confront that and deal with that and survive it um, is a very interesting dynamic and one that you, you'll, you'll draw the conclusion whether she's stronger or not, I think. And for you in particular, how is it this particular season? Because it seems like everybody is separated for a good period of time, you know, and they all have their own different journeys. You know, how was it like shooting this season? We're like, oh, you know, I guess I won't see you today. <laughs> I mean, I think it was, it's always odd when we split up, like the, the Rosie crew, but 
I had such a fantastic kind of corner of my show. Keon's amazing, Josiah's amazing, Brent was amazing, Ola Nike is, and I just really got to do some great work with like new energy, new blood, new people. They challenged me in different ways um, and brought out different things in me that was just, you know, it's why we do this. I, I don't want to sit in the same kind of lane. So um, it was quite fabulous, actually. I had an awesome season. Well, the fans are looking forward to seeing this. Obviously, we know there's going to be another season, so let's hope the both of you somehow make it out alive. <laughs> you know, take care. We'll talk later. Thanks, Wilson. Thanks, Wilson.